Today on the show, a plugin that allows you to turn groups plus presets into a sequence that lets you play back or switch between these different presets uh, for that group. And so I have two parts today uh, in this one video. Uh, so first of all, let me show you what this plugin does and then I'm going to walk you through the plugin code. So if you've never worked with plugins before in Granite 2, this might be a good way to kind of get started with it all. So let's first take a look at the show file for today and uh, see what this plugin does. I really hope this is useful to a lot of you guys. And then after you watch this video, then make sure to download the plugin in the video description. It's on my GitHub page um, for you to download and mess around with. All right, let's get started. So first of all, um, this is our show file for today. I have 16 spots over here and you can see um, four by four. So we have different rows here. All right. So what does this plugin do now? Um, the plugin is over here, it's already loaded. And essentially with these groups um, and my presets, what I wanna get here is um, a sequence that I can use to, for example, switch through different color presets um, for my all group. So let's first create that. And it's actually pretty simple. All I wanna do is click on this preset, um, on this plugin, and then it's asking me for the preset type. And in this case, four for color. Then preset start. Um, let's go with this one as the first one and then number 16 as the last one. So I'm just going to enter three. And then preset end is the last one, so in this case, 16. Now we have to enter the group number. In this case, it's group one, perfect. And then the fade, um, in this case, it's actually just a color wheel, so no fade. So I'm just gonna press enter. Lastly, it's going to ask me for the executor. Uh, so let's take this one over here, um, 1.102. All right, and now, the magic happens. Uh, you can see that here in the output. Uh, we'll see. So it stored a bunch of presets and what you will notice automatically is that in this case, it also stored the names. So let's clear this out. Let's turn them all on. And now if I jump through this preset over here, you can see that I have the different colors that it sets for me. And what's cool is that the Q names are the names of the individual uh, presets. And also, by the way, these are all created with uh, auto import or auto create. Uh, so I didn't really have to do anything here. I just uh, used these pre-made um, presets. What's also nice, of course, is if you go assign and then uh, set this to go to trigger, whenever I now click on my executor button, I actually get to choose which color I want to have. Great. So another thing that you can see here is that the group name up here um, is actually the name of this sequence. And that's essentially what this plugin does. Um, as a second show and tell, let's actually uh, create a sequence that lets us kind of trigger all of these different gobos over here. So again, let's use the plugin to create uh, this sequence for the gobos. In this case, I just want this first row to be affected. So in this case, um, this row one group. All right, so click the plugin and the preset type is number three for Gobo. Preset start, let's start over, hmm. Uh, in this case, let's actually start over here. So with number seven, and then let's go all the way to 20. Group in this case is group number two, fade, no fade in this case as well, and then 1.103. And again, just runs through. Let's clear out the programmer. And now I can go through all of these different gobos. And again, uh, the group name is the title of the sequence, and then the individual cues, uh, the names are the names of all these presets. That was part one of this preset to sequence plugin, which you can download in the video description down below. There's a link to my GitHub page uh, where you can find this plugin. So if you're just interested in using this, then by all means, go ahead. 
For everyone who's interested in learning how the code behind it works, um, there's a second part of this video, a uh, separate video where I do an in-depth uh, walkthrough of the plugin. So if you are a uh, sort of beginner with plugin development in MA2, I think this is a great way to kind of get started into how you can build plugins. Uh, so make sure to check that out. If you're not interested in that part, then just come back in two weeks uh, where I'll have a new video for you. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, write me an email if you have uh, any ideas for videos that you would like to see and leave comments um, and feedback down in the comment section. All right, on to the second video. Uh, see you in two weeks or in just a click. <laughs>